field. In this video, I will explain the serial dilution process and demonstrate how to perform dilutions when using the Microbiologics ePower product. Dilution is the process of making a solution weaker or less concentrated. In microbiology, serial dilutions, or log dilutions, are used to decrease a bacterial population to a required concentration. The purpose is to achieve an appropriate concentration for a specific test method or to achieve a countable auger plate. A single log dilution is a tenfold dilution, which means the concentration is decreased by a multiple of 10. To complete a tenfold dilution, the ratio must be 1 to 10. The 1 in the ratio represents the amount of sample added, and the 10 represents the total size of the final sample. For instance, a sample size of 1 milliliter would be added to 9 milliliters of diluent to equal a total of 10 milliliters. Before we can move on to multiple dilutions, it is important to understand decimal numbers and scientific notation. Decimal numbers can be converted to scientific notation by moving the decimal place the same number of places as the exponential number. In this example, if we start with 100 and move the decimal two places to the left, the final result will be 1.0 times 10 to the second. We use multiple dilutions to decrease the sample concentration by multiple locks. Here is an example. If the concentration starts at 35,000 CFU per milliliter, or 10 to the fourth, and 35 CFU per milliliter is the target concentration, we would do three serial dilutions. We would take one milliliter from the initial tube and place it in nine milliliters. This would equal 3,500 CFU per milliliter, or 10 to the third. Another dilution would take the concentration to 350 CFU per milliliter, or 10 to the second, and the final dilution would equal 35 CFU per mil, our target concentration. Now I will show you how to perform a multiple dilution series with Microbiologics ePower E7. First, label the plates with the dilution factor. Next, using sterile forceps, place one pellet into 10 milliliters of pre-warmed phosphate buffer. Vortex the microorganism suspension to achieve a homogeneous suspension. Pipette one milliliter from the suspension into nine milliliters of phosphate buffer. Repeat this process until all the tubes have been diluted. Be sure to hold your pipette vertically to achieve maximum accuracy. Repeat this process until all the tubes have been diluted. Plate one milliliter from each tube. Use a spreader to distribute the inoculum evenly.
place the plates in an incubator overnight. These are our plates after the overnight incubation. These results demonstrate why it is necessary to do cereal dilutions. Most of these give us either a full line of bacterial growth or too numerous to count colonies. Our final dilution gave us an easily countable plate.